the corner <coughs> swoops around like a speed corner like that. And to get the upper pine, you got to keep going straight. 60 kilometers stretching from a tiny intersection north of Fort St. John up through the hamlet of Montney and turning around at the Upper Pine School is what lies ahead of a strong crowd at this year's King of Spring Road Race Championship. We've done a couple different routes over the years, but they've always been exciting finishes. Generally, you're going to get a sprint finish of three or four riders with the odd exception. So it's highly contested right to the finish line. The club's top members, including Rube Cup champion George Gamble and the reigning king for the past three years, Kevin Shaw, make up the starting pack. But Chris Hogan, coming off a few recent victories, also looks to etch his name into the hardware. But today's conditions are anything but prime with scattered showers in the forecast. 10 o'clock and the 14 riders hit the pavement, winding their way through the rolling terrain of the North Peace region. A long stream of riders beginning to form early in the race and starting to break up through some of the more daunting hills. It's quite a while after that though. Coming up the hill from Montney, still a strong pack led by Hogan and Gamble, but it wouldn't take long for the lead men to shrink down to six. Through a rainy section nearing the Upper Pine School and the official turnaround, no one gaining much of an edge at this point. Now about 15k to go rounding the corner in Montney and bracing for one more final turn. Still anyone's race to win. But unlike Pat's prediction, not quite the sprint finish everyone was hoping for. Woo! Chris Hogan, a burst of excitement as he crosses the line in top spot, followed close behind Gamble and Shaw in a sprint of their own. Final times, solid across the board, Hogan in with 1 hour 57.14, 6 seconds ahead of Gamble in 2nd place, Kevin Shaw failing to defend his title officially in 3rd, with Matt Gilmore and John Obi in 4th and 5th. Hogan takes us through that final stretch. We were coming up the last hill there and the other rider slowed up a little bit because he was getting to the end of the race and I decided that was my chance to go so I took my chance and it turned out okay. <laughs> Already this season, Chris Hogan has topped the Sunday circuit three times, twice coming on Cecil Lake Road. And now that he is deemed the club's king of spring, it could arguably have him as the club's most dominant rider of 2015. Mitch Bach, CJDC TV Sports, Fort St. John.